Hey guys, Harris here, and we're back for episode three of building my ultimate room. The first episode we cleaned and painted. The second episode we built the perfect custom tabletop to put on top of the standing motorized desks so that I can sit and work or stand and work. Today's episode three, we have to put on the custom dual monitor mount uh, as well as set up everything else. But then we also have something a little bit more fun and interesting. We have some smart tech products. The stars of the show being an Amazon Alexa device that isn't from Amazon itself. It's from Anchor, and this is called the Eufy Genie. And the second product is from Light Edge, and this is a smart wall outlet. And this will allow me to control pretty much every aspect of my room and it should be pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So the first step is installing the dual Visa Vesa mount on the desk, which will hold my two HP 22 inch monitors. They're far from anything special, but I had them laying around unopened, so I decided they'd work for this project, and with these slim bezels, it works. Unfortunately, they are not Vesa mount compatible until I brought Gorilla Glue into the equation, and boom, now they are. Now, because I went the glue route, there was an ever so slight height imperfection, which made leveling them out a little bit of a pain, but with a little bit of improvs, I had them pretty much straightened out. So when the desk is at its sitting level, only one cable is visible, and that's an extension cord that connects to an outlet hub, which connects to another outlet hub. Everything else is hidden underneath the desk, including an anchor USB hub, the MagSafe power brick, the monitor plugs and power, and the desk's motor cables. Most everything fits under the hollow part of the tabletop, while everything else is held in with a variety of cable ties, adhesive clips, and Velcro, which are all pretty freaking awesome tools, and I'll leave links to all these in the description if you need them for your cable management or any other goals. Okay, so here's what the desk looks like when it's all together, and as you can tell, I have some white accent lights around the desk, and that's for some $8 LED strips, nothing special, nothing fancy, and that is voice control due to the Light Edge Smart Outlets, which lets you plug into the wall, connect something to it, or a hub if you want to control multiple devices, and set it up in the app, and you're good to control it from your phone on the app, set timers, and connect it to Amazon Alexa. And so now I can say stuff like, Alexa, turn off softbox. Okay. And you can see I'm dark. Now I also have set up my fan, uh, as well as the white LEDs around my desk that can be voice activated, and basically this just works exactly as any other smart device would with Alexa. Now the other part is the Eufy Genie. Now this thing is basically exactly like an Amazon Dot, but it is better. It comes in at $15 less, and for that you get a louder speaker, and it has this secret dual personality that not only does it work as an Alexa device, but, and this blew my mind when I found out, it also works as an AirPlay device. So if you have an Apple product, you can play via Wi-Fi from any of your devices to this via AirPlay, and that is crazy awesome so you could be listening to music from your phone or your computer or whatever as well as still asking Alexa questions or having her do prompts and it works as both now the only downside to this device is that it doesn't connect via Bluetooth to speakers you have to use auxiliary uh, and that is what I am doing here with my Bose SoundLink Mini but these combined are an awesome product and I would definitely recommend this guy if you're looking for an Echo Dot because the only compromise is its size, a little bit bigger, uh, and the fact that it doesn't connect via Bluetooth. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my new room setup. I built around a little bit of voice and a lot of work. I'm getting a lot of work done in here. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.